Hello everybody and welcome. Hope you're all safe and well. Pete here. Um, I'm staying at the Rosen Inn at Point Orlando tonight, so I'm just going to give you guys a little hotel review. It's a very budget friendly hotel, uh, well centrally located on International Drive. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, great to have you. If you're returning, uh, also great to have you back. Thank you for the support. We're about to walk through the main doors into the reception and lobby area. Here we have the reception. To the right of reception, you have Zebra's Sports Bar and Grill. Happy hour is from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. The Rosen Inn at Point is a universal partner hotel. You can purchase theme park tickets here and they offer a complimentary shuttle service. The Vacation Planning Center desk is open from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. This is where you book your shuttle. There is also an on-site restaurant, the Plaza Garden. Just give you a little peek inside. Here is Smooth Java Coffee Bar and Gift Shop. You can get your Starbucks in here along with loads of souvenirs, t-shirts, caps, plushies. I'm just going to take a little wander around the resort. Um, this resort is really big, there's loads and loads of rooms, three pools. Might be worthwhile having a wee look at the plan, the hotel plan at check-in and request the block that you would like to stay in. There are seven blocks to choose from. Some are obviously closer to the pool or closer to the reception area. Just whatever suits you. I requested one closer to reception. Just makes life easier for me in the morning. Saves me getting lost as well if it's too far away. Here we have a hotel map and just beyond that is swimming pool number one. There's people in so I'm not going to get too close. Here's a map of the grounds. I am in block A which is just here and that's swimming pool number one just there. There's another two swimming pools here and here. And reception is the main lobby building just here. You have a games room and video arcade to keep the little ones entertained, all the big ones in fact. Here's a pool table. Here we have the small arcade room. It's a bit sort of dark and dingy, but I'm guessing the kids won't mind. You've got several sort of ping pong machines and an air hockey table. There is an on-site fitness centre for anyone that wants to get a little gym session in. Fitness centre is open from 6am to 11pm, room key for access. There's someone in the gym, so I'm not going to show you what's there at the moment. I had a little look in the gym. There is, I mean it's small, there's not too much to it, but enough for a workout if you desire. There was a couple of treadmills, a, a bike machine, um, a couple of weight machines, also some dumbbells and a bench. So enough there if you fancy something, not a problem. Not for me though. The light bike convenience store is 24 hours for snacks, sodas and other sundries. A selection of food and drink and snacks if you're hungry. Ice creams too, slushies, Coca-Cola freestyle machine, some ponchos, chocolate. Loads of sandwiches, juice. And some alcohol and some more sodas. As mentioned, the Rosen Inn at Point is very well located here on International Drive, um, right across from the Point Orlando uh, Shopping Centre, closing the name really. Um, so let's just take a wee look along International Drive close by to see what's available on your doorstep. Right next door to the hotel, you have a Pizza Hut for sit-in or takeaway. Um, you can get a family box in there for something like $25. It's, um, I think it's two pizzas, garlic breadsticks, and also a pasta dish, um, and, and chicken wings. Um, have a wee check out for that. It's extremely good value for money. Easily feeds four of you for 25 bucks. Bargain, and that's right next door to the hotel. There we have the hotel in the background. As I mentioned, right on International Drive. As it's on International Drive, you can use the iRide trolley and you're on number stop 
18 right on your doorstep that will go all up and down International Drive you're also able to get the Lynx bus service from this stop as well so a couple of options for cheap transportation right outside the hotel not too bad at all here we have one of the electric scooters you can rent on International Drive you just scan with your camera and pay for the rental quite fancy a shot of one of these but I reckon I might fall over so I'll probably crash into something or something so I think I'll just leave it but it's a good little option for a scoot you can drop this anywhere on International Drive and just leave it for the next person Across the road from the hotel you have the very popular Miller's Ale House um, it's a budget friendly bar and restaurant they generally have different deals on every day for both alcohols and food during happy hour I've ate and drank in there, it's not bad quality at all. I'm going to take a walk along International Drive here to Icon Park. I know it's not too far away, so we'll check, see how far it is. There's quite a few restaurants and bars there, so we're going to get myself something to eat. pizza man on his way. It's the first time I've seen a guy sitting down on one of those boards. Fair play to him. So that's just a sample of the restaurants and bars eh, within a 10 minute walk from the Rosen. So plenty on offer. You will not be stuck. I've made our way along to Icon Park. Uh, it took around 15 minutes from the hotel, not bad at all. Um, there's a, a lot of music playing. It's quite busy already. It's only 10 to 7, though it is a Saturday night. Uh, it seems to be buzzing, nice little atmosphere along here. I think I'm going to head into a place called Tin Roof for a little bit of dinner and a couple of beers. you got to be good yourself, don't you? Good morning. Um, so it is the next day. I think the last time I left you, I was just going into Tin Roof Bar at Icon Park. Um, I got some chicken nachos, which were delicious, and had a few beers, and there was a live band on. The live band were absolutely tremendous. Hey guys, time for our room tour. This is a deluxe double room with two double beds. This cost £63.55. pence. Great value for money. It's the same price if you were having four of you here. So a family for 63 quid for one night stay. Not too bad at all. It's a Saturday night as well. That's arguably the most expensive night to book a hotel in Orlando. However, it is August, which is uh, classed as a low season. To your right, you've got the air conditioning unit. That was on when I came in and the room's nice and cool. You've got an armchair, your two double beds, You've got your bedside table with your hotel safe. There's an alarm clock with a couple of USB charging points. Always great to see that for your devices. On the other side of the room, you've got the standard sort of office desk and chair, large widescreen television, loads of storage for your clothes. If you would like to put your clothes in the drawers or the wardrobe, there's absolutely loads of storage. Even for four of you, you've got an iron and an iron board here. And then we have the little sort of kitchen area. There is a refrigerator and a microwave plus the coffee station on top. You've got your wash hand basin there and your vanity mirror, your hair dryer for getting ready, towels underneath. And then in here we have the toilet and bathtub with an overhead shower. As mentioned, this room sleeps four of you. Uh, for only 63 quid, it's a very, very budget-friendly hotel room. Um, as soon as I walked in, I could smell it was, it'd been cleaned. You could smell the cleaning products, which is 
good. It wasn't too overpowering, just you could notice that the room had been cleaned. On first first inspection, it looks it looks clean. Um, so, so far, so good. Uh, first time staying here at the Rosen Inn. As it's the next morning, the and it's, it's early, it's, it's only eight o'clock, the pools are really quiet now, so I'll show you them. I couldn't show you them last night, as there was loads of kids playing in them, and you wouldn't want to be recording that, of course. Here we have pool number one, quite a few sun loungers, good size pool. Also when I was recording last night I couldn't show you the kids playground, my boys would enjoy themselves on it, it's kill a bit of time, burn a bit of energy if, if they had any left after the park. And just to round it off this is pool number three, again very similar to pool one and two, but it's good that they have a few pools as it is quite a big hotel. So this is pool number three, very similar to pool number one and two. It's good that they have a few pools as it's quite a big hotel. Breakfast is served in the Plaza Garden restaurant. Breakfast is priced at $17.09 for the all-you-can-eat buffet style. Um, I'm not going to have any because I'm hoping to do a couple of roller coasters soon um, and my stomach couldn't handle that. <laughs> Or you can eat can be a wee bit crazy with myself, but um, I'll show you guys what's on offer. But now um, there's a variety of cereals, fruit, um, and then hot breakfast, toast, eggs, sausage. They can I use all stuff. There are absolutely loads of car parking spaces at the hotel, and I've been told that it's free to park here as well, which is an absolute bonus. Um, obviously, if you're staying at the hotel, you can't just rock up and park. But yep, free parking. So guys, that kind of rounds up the stay here at the Rosen Inn at Point Orlando. Um, overall, um, my review would be kind of um, based on the fact this is a budget-friendly hotel. So in terms of being a budget-friendly hotel, I'd probably give about a 4 out of 5. Um, not a 4 out of 5 in terms of considering all hotels in Orlando. There's a lot, a lot, a lot nicer hotels, a lot more luxurious hotels. However, if you're looking for something budget-friendly, take into consider consideration location, the room, the cleanliness, the price, then you can't go too far wrong here. £63 for a family of four. Wow. So yep, that's my review. Hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you next time. Cheers guys. Bye.